everyone, welcome back to Geek Out Japan. If you are new around here, my name is Kaylee. Today we are back in Ueno, and this time we are at a very famous street market. And for today, we are specifically going to go to one secondhand shop called Hobby Off. Hobby Off is a secondhand store which sells a lot of used figurines, secondhand figurines, and also many retro games too. We're going to go check it out today, as well as see some other stores around here. Like I said, it's a very popular street market. Why don't we go look around and see what we can find? All right, let's head out. So one secondhand store that really caught my attention was Mod Off. I'm a really huge fan of secondhand and thrift stores, especially when I was back in America. Many of my clothes were thrifted uh, just because I really love the style. I love like more of like retro, older clothing anyway. But for here, most of the clothes here are all maybe from like Japanese families. We have like a lot of different kinds of bags here as well. This is B. I don't really know this one. Let's check the pricing though. Oh, look at that. Only a thousand a hundred yen. That's super duper cheap for a really nice bag like this. There's also some clothing here as well. Wow, only a thousand six hundred and fifty yen. That's also super duper cheap. Normally dresses like this that I see in Japan are around roughly 2,000 to 3,000 yen. But this is a pretty good price, especially for a used product. But let us know too in the future if you want us to check out these stores, if you guys are very interested in secondhand clothing as well. All right, let's continue on. Okay guys, so we just took a tour of the city street market. We went to a lot of different places. We tried some different food as well. Now we finally made it to Hobby Off as well. Hobby Off and uh, Hard Off too. They're actually combined stores. We're only gonna focus on Hobby Off today. That's where a lot of the secondhand anime stuff, anime merchandise, and also the retro games are going to be. So let's go inside and check those out. Alright, so they have so many different secondhand games. So they have a Nintendo Switches that are roughly a little bit less expensive than the Game Boys. Like Tony, 2,000 yen. We have one over here, another Switch that's 18,700 yen. And if you look over here, guys, there's a Switch, a Nintendo Switch, but it also has Splatoon as well. That's a very popular game in Japan. And also, a lot of Nintendo games too. Why is this one so... Oh my god, a thousand, a thousand, ten thousand, wait, sorry, a thousand, ten hundred, yeah, wait, wait, hold on, I can't do math, it's a hundred, ten thousand, yen, a hundred, ten thousand yen, yes, 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 see, I was so shocked that even my brain was getting jumbled, but if we look down here, there's also some other Game Boy Advances, too, and also down here, some more Game Boys as well, so there's like different varieties, different sections as well, different price ranges too. Here, I'll give you guys a closer look as well. So most of these are all second hand, so they were used before, but they're at a pretty cheap, uh, relatively cheap price. Oh my god, many childhood memories here. These are so many different Game Boy games, Game Boy games, haha. <laughs> like we have with this one, Star Wars Lego. <laughs> my camera woman Mayumi in the background, <laughs> she's so impressed. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have also Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. I never played this game. I also never played the Game Boy for One Piece. I used to play, I wonder if they have it here. Oh, they have Mario. Yeah, this one is roughly 3,300 yen. Most of these pricings are different. So we have some that range from very cheap, like this one here, 500, 550 yen, to, I wanna find the most expensive one. Most expensive one would probably be 
Hmm, nothing so much, but like I said, these are all secondhand, so you can definitely get these games at a pretty cheap and relatively reasonable price as well. Alright, so if we look in this section here, there are so many different types of gaming cubes, gaming cubes, game systems, my bad, my bad. There's different kinds of PlayStations here, and they're all secondhand, so like I said, all used, all being resold once more. Pretty good pricing as well, too. We have our PlayStations as well, uh, around like 16,500 yen. I never really had one when I was growing up. Let me know in the comments if you guys had one, too. And there's, oh, oh my god! I remember my cousin used to have something like this. This is Sega right here, and I remember he used to play a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog games, I think, with this. And I remember, it was something similar, but I think this one was maybe black. This one is roughly 19,800 yen. I'm trying to see if there's anything... Oh, I, I know that symbol. <laughs> So this Sony one is 38,500 yen. Okay, so that's it for this floor. Now we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna skip two and three, the second and third floor, because that's going to be hard off. The hobby off, the next hobby off floor is going to be number four. So let's set up. So we're at the fourth floor now, and the fourth floor has a lot of secondhand figure arts. So if we look around here, there's different kinds of animes. All the categories are a little bit different here. So let's check them out. We have, I'm trying to see which one catches my, ooh. Okay, so we have the Monkey D. Luffy. So this is his gear four. And this one is roughly, so if I have to check, this one is 4,400 yen, so this is a pretty good price for a figure arts Luffy here. Figure arts? No, figure. This isn't a figure arts, my bad. <gasps> Ooh, we also have Nami as well. This is a... Mm, not my favorite costume of Nami. I mean, she's beautiful, of course. This one is roughly 3,850 yen. Uh, I'm trying to see what else we have. Okay, so we have Goku here, and this Goku figurine is about 4,400 yen. This is a, looks kind of like an older edition. I don't think they have the year on here for determining the pricing of something. Eco Reusable Factory. So I believe this is when it was being sold and this was the pricing of it as well. Ah, if we take a look here, there's different kinds of like tiny little toys as well. So we have a lot of buttons and we also have a lot of figurines too, as uh, such as these. Uh, for all the anime fans, we have a lot of ah, many different kinds of secondhand Tokyo Revengers. I see a lot of Tokyo Revengers one. I see one for one piece. This is Hawkins. Many different kinds of buttons as well too. Right here, we have a Saba one, and they also have the pricings. If you see an orange tag up here, the orange one will be 220 yen, and the pink one. So like this pink one here. I don't know what it is. I'm not familiar with this anime, but this one would be about 330 yen. So if you're interested in doing a little bit of collectibles, this is also a perfect section as well, too. Okay, so this is going to be the last floor. This is the fifth floor of Hobby Off. So they do have a lot of anime merchandise as well, too. That's also secondhand. But there's also a lot of different types of toys, older toys from like American toys to Japanese toys that aren't anime related as well for those who are also interested in it. So why don't we go check these out as well? So as you can see here, there's many different kinds of cars here. So my grandfather and my dad I remember they used to collect some toy cars, but this is a cute one here. Formula One, I'm not really in, I don't really have a lot of knowledge about cars, sadly. Uh, if you guys know, please let me know what kind of car this is. But this one does have the orange tag, and if we look here, it's basically the same price as the buttons and the smaller items from the fourth floor. So this one is gonna be 220 yen. 
And if we find a pink one, like this one, a little bit more pricey, so only by another 100 yen, 330 yen right here. But it's so cool. I actually wonder if there's bigger cars as well. Wow, that's huge. And this one is 27,000 yen. Oh my God, that's huge. I'm kind of thinking, how would you even fit that in your home too? It also makes me think, like if you can open the doors, just put your anime figures in there as well. That would be kind of funny. So, oh my god, the pop, little pop figures. I get these all the time. I used to get them all the time for my dad for his birthday. How much are they? 4,400. I think they're much cheaper in America. For this price, because this one is just like Statue of Liberty. This is like, I guess, Spider-Man, No Way From Home. This one is Venom. So I think from what I remember, I thought they were maybe around like, maybe $10 when I got these for my dad. They're not that expensive, I think. But I could be wrong, I haven't been back to America in a while. If the prices have changed, please let me know. Many different, ah, we have a lot of Star Wars, we have X-Men, Avengers, Fantastic Four as well. So, not just anime, but also just different kinds of mainstream media here. Which one is the most expensive one? So it seems like the Ultra, what is it? But this one is 9,900 yen, and he is the smallest one, but also the most expensive, which is very surprising, I think, in my opinion. We also have this figure of Iron Man, this huge figure of Iron Man right here, 4,000, 44,000 yen. I kind of wish they showed you what he looked like, though, because for that price, and if it's being resold, I would want to know, like, physically what he looks like. Like, I know what he looks like on the box, but, like, I want to just see how he looks standing and stuff. I think that would be nice to see as well. This is so cute! It's interesting seeing things that aren't anime related. These look like sock monkeys, which I always thought sock monkeys were so creepy. I don't know what this is. It looks like a bear in the background. But this one is a little bit more pricey than the sock monkey right here. Uh, the sock monkey is around 11,000 yen. This one is 19,800 yen. And I'm trying to think, see, oh, they also have a lot of Minecraft. Looks like a lot of Minecraft puzzles too. Not too pricey, which is a pretty good gift to maybe give to kids or family or people who enjoy Minecraft too. And also, oh, interesting. It looks like something I would see in America, but I'm not really sure. Has anyone ever played this game before? If so, what are the rules to this? I wouldn't mind buying this and playing this at the office. I think that would be fun to do. We also have like a lot of older Barbies in the background too, if you can see here. Ranging from like a really heavy price of like 13,000, 2,200 yen, 22,000 yen. Wow, that's also really expensive. I also see this one, I think it's Hana-chan. Hana-chan is like the Japanese Barbie in Japan. So, or like Japan's version of Barbie. And this one is roughly 17,600 yen as well. Ah, they also have a lot of Disney items as well too. We have Woody. This looks like a figure arts, is this Bondi? No, it's not Bondi, my bad. So this looks like similar to a figure arts of Woody. 6,600 yen. Oh my God, look in the background. That's so cool. It's Mickey and Walt Disney. And this one is, oh my God, 132,000 yen. That is more expensive than my rent here actually. <laughs> oh my God. I think the pricing for this, it's very old, very vintage. I think it's like a like a real one too. I, I wonder why it's so expensive. It's a really good picture, but for that price, mm, I don't I don't really know. I think it's too expensive, honestly. I would love to get that, but I don't have the money for that right now, sadly. Okay guys, so another part of this floor is we have a lot of Transformers figures as well too. Is anyone a Transformers fan? My father is. And I remember watching all the Michael Bay movies and also some of the cartoons as well. This looks like an original Optimus Prime, like a very old Optimus Prime toy. 19,800, that's really expensive, oh my god. <gasps> Not as expensive as, is this a Dinobot? I think that's a Dinobot actually. Wait, wait, no, no, I don't think it's a Dinobot. I think it's like a different kind of Transformer, but this one is 33,000 yen, that's very pricey right there as well. 
Uh, we also have what is called Gear 5 Luffy, 16,500 yen. Probably, it says here last one. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but just be careful. I don't know if you want to get scammed or not. <laughs> we also have a lot of um, Cell from Emboma from Dragon Ball as well. We have an Angel Goku in the background, 38,500 yen over here. A little bit bigger than Ace. But of course, Ace is more expensive, which I still don't understand why. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. We went through the Wano Street Markets and we got to visit Hobby Off as well. So, if you guys are still new around here and you like this video, please remember to hit the like button below, leave a comment if you're interested as well, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new to this channel. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon.